Hi y'all again, I'm Matthew Mungle, makeup effects artist, prosthetic artist, and this is the lovely Renee. We're going to do a witch makeup on her. And this will be in several parts. And um, uh, the first thing I've done is to put a wig cap onto her head, just put all of her hair into it, just to prep the hair. I didn't wet it any, I, I could have wet it a little bit, but just enough just to hold the hair in place. So we've got that. Now I'm gonna put a silicone ball paint on her. So we're gonna make sure this is kind of centered on her hair, her head, and her forehead. Make sure we're just covering up, because I want the wig to go back a little bit further to start, so we're putting the ball paint on. You could also use a ball pa uh, a um, plastic ball cap if you needed to, if you didn't have a ball paint. So I'm using um, silicone glue. There's a lot of silicone glues out there, and uh, it's, it's personal preference, whatever you want to use. Uh, I've got the thinner on one side. I usually put the thinner on the left side and the adhesive on the right side. And I'm going to pick a brush here very large brush and I'm going to start in the center and glue the center of the ball paint down just like so brushing the hair out of the way getting that nice beautiful edge down very thin edge and then going from one side to the other And gluing the edge down. Now, when you pull this out of the mold, sometimes the um, flashing sticks, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't stick, you know you have a really nice edge on your ball paint. So I've glued this side down. Now I'm going to go back to, um, to this side. Let me just keep your eyes closed. And gluing this side down and if you notice I'm not doing the whole thing at once I'm doing one side the other side just to make sure I get it even on both sides and we're going to go back to this side make sure the edges are glued down you can put the adhesive on the back of the appliance as you're applying it also. And that way it, um, it really sticks down onto her skin. I'm using a powder puff with a no color powder on it. So straight ahead for a second. So I've glued this side, then I'm gonna have her turn. I'm gonna glue this side. Powder puff has a little powder on it. I'm going to use that to press the edge down onto her skin. That way it's not sticking to my finger every time I try to glue it down. I'm going to go back to this side. Again, putting it onto her skin and the back of the appliance. Taking the powder puff with a little powder on it, pressing it down into the skin, putting on the back of the appliance and her skin, kind of pulling the uh, ball cap tight and into place, powder puff, pressing it down into the skin and the hair on those areas. here at this point now I know that the wig that I've chosen 
will cover all of this area. So I'm not too worried about the edge on this side. So I'm going to go take my scissors, which are obviously very dull. I'm going to get some smaller, the bigger scissors here. Cut this area so it can fit over her ear. Enough like that. And we'll take the glue again, silicone glue, put it on the back of the appliance, on the skin, pressing the hair down into it also. Powder puff and gluing that edge down sure it, it adheres all in that area. Turn your face towards me. Again, we're going to cut this ball cap so it fits around the ear. A little bit more out of this. Okay, make sure we got all the hair behind the ear in this area. Taking the silicone glue, putting it onto the skin. Kind of pushing the hair around too to make sure that we glue the hair into place. And then also on the back of the appliance, the ball pate. That way you make sure that you get a really good adhesion in that area. We'll take and press it down. Take our powder puff again with a little powder on it. Press it into the skin. Okay, now I'm satisfied with the way it looks now, right here. And this is the point that we're going to turn her. Let's see if I can turn around. I'm just going to tear these edges off of the ball cap all the way around. It's got flipped under all the flashing off of the back. Let's see. Let's stop. You stand up. And then... I'm going to have to edit this. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Go ahead and sit. Let's see if we can turn it around. So they can see what I'm doing back here. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Good. okay, cut into. Now, tilt your head back just a little bit so they can see. This ball cap was made with pleats in the back. The reason it is, is because we can take this ball cap and cinch it up to make it really tight in the back. So I'm going to take this edge here, paint a little glue over it, a little silicone glue on both sides, and then cinch it really tight, and that will get rid of any wrinkles in the front that you need to. This way a little bit. Then I'm going to go back to this edge over here and do the same thing and just pull it really tight to make sure we don't get any wrinkles in the front because that's mainly what I'm concerned, I'm concerned about is that the wrinkles in the front, not necessarily the wrinkles in the back. And pull that tight there like so. And once we've got both sides done, then we'll really cinch it up here. 
So again, adhesion with adhesive on the back of the appliance and in the front of the appliance here and taking both sides and really pulling it tight there, letting that glue flash off so we get a really good adhesive area there. You can also take medical tape and tape over this if you wanted to to really keep it together but just for this demonstration this will be fine like this so we've got the pleat is pulled together here here and in the center okay now I've combined a little bit of acetone which I call edger and a lot of 99% alcohol which is about one part acetone to five parts alcohol and that blends your edges down really really good you don't want to use this around the eyes with appliances just straight um, alcohol but I'm going to take this edger and just go around the edges like a little bit right here and we're just melting that edge off so we can pull the flashing off of the skin like so so there we go got a nice blend on that ball paint good enough for latex work Now that I'm comfortable with this, then I'm going to go back to taking Prosade that's thickened, as we call it, Bondo, taking a sp uh, sponge wedge, cutting it in half, like so. And this is a synthetic sponge. It's not a latex sponge. So we're not in jeopardy of hurting any silicone that we put on her face if we're going to put silicone and I'm taking that Bondo and just putting it right on the edge of the ball paint and this will capture the ball paint to make sure that it's glued to the skin well. Okay, so we're glued there. We've got Bondo around the edge of the ball pate. Now we're going to start applying the appliances to her face. This is the appliance out of the mold. Like this, you can see the eyebrow covers, the nose, the cheek is all one. Cheeks, are, cheeks and nose are all one piece and the eyebrows are separate pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just away from the edges, just cut the flashing off. So that's this side, eyebrow. I'll just put it on top of your head there. <laughs> And the other side, and I'm just cutting the uh, flashing, not the edge of the appliance. And if I go down to that edge, I'm going to take it and just tear it. Because you never want to cut your edges, because that's your nice blend edge right there. So that's this side, right here, and the other one, this side. Like so. So we're going to take the adhesive, silicone adhesive that we used before to glue the ball paint down. We've got thinner and we've got adhesive. So I'm going to 
set this where I want this on the face. There we go, on the eyebrow area. Just like so. Fold it over, holding it. Do the anchor method, which is gluing the center of the appliance down. And that way if you got an anchor in the center and you can go from this side to this side gluing the rest of the way. I'll take and lift the appliance up again. You can also put the adhesive on the back of the appliance as well as the skin to get a good adhesion of the appliance. So we've got all the way past the edge here glued and just pop that down like that. Sometimes I use a powder puff, sometimes I use my finger if I know I don't have too much glue onto the skin. Just like so. Oh, you look mad. The other side, glue back of the appliance and onto the skin. Very pleased with that. I can see an edge here that didn't get glued down. Raise your eyebrows for me. Great. Right under that edge, right there. Didn't get glued down. Going right here. To glue that down because I don't want to use my finger. I'll use a powder puff with a little powder on it, like I did the ball paint. Okay, now we're going to go back with our edger. This time, I'm just using alcohol and not acetone mixed with it because we're working around our eyes. So we're going to take that, that flashing area, pull it, and just blend those edges down to nothing. Melting those edges off of the skin. So, we're just grabbing that edge, and pulling it up like so, there we go. Now we got that piece blended onto the skin. Take this side. Okay, we got the eyebrows glued on. Now we'll move on to the face, which is the nose, under the eyes, and the cheeks. This is a little bit more difficult because you've got to get both sides glued on so it doesn't look askew. Now, on this, because we have the flashing under the eyes, we're going to take and just peel at the thinnest part of the appliance away so we can get that position under the eye instead of having to deal with the flashing under there. So in other words, we're just peeling the flashing away like so. That way we can fit this on. Now remember, I haven't fit this on her skin at all beforehand, and that's the beauty of sculpting it this way. In other words, on the side, I just sculpted it right to about right here. That way it'll fit a generic 
uh, and size nose. So, and then of course the cheeks always fit. For this one, because I want this one to really stick really well, I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol, even though it's super baldies and it's blended with alcohol, just take a little moist alcohol tissue and just clean the back of the appliance. I'm cleaning any mold release, which is Vaseline, off of the appliance so it sticks extremely well, especially around the nose and the nasolabial folds, which eventually come up during the day. There we go. All right. Get that done. The first area that we're going to glue is, I'm going to change my brush to a smaller brush. Have a little bit more control over where I put the adhesive. adhesive. Is uh, the tip of the nose here. Right in that area. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of the appliance also. And then fit this piece under the nose and into place. Tilt your head back just a little and into place. Like so. Let me see if I got that right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. So we've got it anchored in the middle here. Then we're going to take this, just let it droop, pull it down a little bit, put an adhesive all the way up between the eyebrows here. And glue that directly in the center here. Because this silicone is so translucent, you can really tell where it's glued on the skin. So we've glued all of this area now. Now we're going to work our way under the eye first. We've got this area here, nasolabial folds here, right in that area. So that's the area that I want to glue. So I'm going to put a little bit of silicone adhesive on my brush and go into that area and glue very carefully. Now I've made sure only to put glue on the brush area, not the furrow area of the uh, he, uh, of the brush because I don't want to get it onto her eyelashes because it is hard to get that off of the eyelashes there. And I'm satisfied that we've got that in there. And we're going to lift, lift this up and do this side before we go any further on the other side because I want to make sure that I do glue this down evenly. Now we're going to take and glue all of this area. And it's a good idea to come from underneath instead of on top. You don't want to get it onto her eyelashes. So tilt your head back just a little bit. I want to make sure I get this kind of even on the nasolabial folds. So I do this, take my brush and fold that edge onto the skin. Like so, I can take powder puff, a little powder, make sure that's glued down there. Then I move to a larger brush 
I like to use uh, nylon brushes for silicone adhesive because you can see where the adhesive is on the brush and they're just much softer to glue this area. So, since we're on this side, I'm going to go ahead and glue this area right here, the cheek area, and place that onto the skin. Take my brush handle and just roll the edge onto the skin there, just like so. And again, just make note that I have sculpted this so it does fit on anybody's face. Making sure that that's glued to the skin on both sides. Then I'll work my way to under the nose. So this area, we'll pull it up, glue the back of the appliance, and then on the nose area, and then do the nasolabial, or rather, the nostril area. That's glued. You got it glued on there. You can take your powder puff and glue the nose down. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Same way on the other side, just this nostril here, getting that into position and locking it down onto the skin. Talking too much. <laughs> After a little bit, you feel that you need to clean your brushes. Just clean it with the thinner, the silicone thinner, just to get rid of any adhesive on there. So we got this all glued down. Now it's time to blend the edges. Now around, because we're doing around the eyes, we're going to take 99% alcohol, put a little in a cup, and take our blending brush here, and just blend the edges down, make sure they blend onto the skin, keep your eyes closed. Then under the eyes. Uh -huh. okay. Then once that's blended down, I'm going to take powder puff with a little powder on it. And just press the edges again, again down into the skin, like so.
continuing to break down the edges of your appliance with the alcohol or the alcohol acetone mixture. Just like so, just pulling all of that, pulling all of those flashing edges off of the appliances. And if there's no flashing on there, you just take your brush and just blend the edges down. Like so. So this edge of the nose has come up. Let's pull this out. Bring that off. So this edge has come up right here. So what I'm going to do is have her tilt her head back a little bit. And I'm going to take the smaller brush with some adhesive in it. Put adhesive on the brush. Put it on the back side of the nose. And just glue that nose piece down just like so. After it's glued there, I'm going to let it flash off for a few seconds and then take my powder puff and press it into the skin like so. Same way with the other side. Just to make sure that the nose is glued really well and positioned well. I'm going to take the edger which is the alcohol acetone mixture and blend those edges down onto the skin and tilt your head back a little bit with me on. And take and paint a little of the alcohol acetone mixture on the edge and just pull that flashing away right there. Once that's done, Press it into the skin like so. We glued that. Now we're going to go on to the chin. The chin came out without any flashing on it. So we're going to position that in the center. Take my nylon brush and the adhesive painted on the back of the appliance and the skin and in the dead center of the appliance to make sure we glue the edges down of the appliance. And you can take the handle of your brush and just roll it right onto the skin. Little bitty chin. Underneath, glue it on. Instead of rolling it on, I'm going to take the powder puff and just glue that on right there and set that into place. We're gluing this side down. We're gluing this side down of the chin. This side of the chin down, this side of the chin down at the same time. Now that we have adhesive on the skin and the appliance, we're going to go back with the powder puff and just press the edges into the skin like so. We've got that chin on. I'm going to take tissue and just kind of dry or rub any of the lotion, excess lotion that's on the skin off.
Now we're moving on to the neck and I pulled all of the flashing off of the neck appliance and we're going to figure out where we want to put these on the neck. Let's say we're going to put that right there. So that's where I want it. Position it. Fold it down. Put the adhesive on the appliance and on the skin. And just pop that right on the skin. Before I go any further, I'm going to take the other one and position that also, but I'm going to have her turn towards me a little bit. Uh, let's, let's move this one in just a little bit more. There we go. At an angle. Same way with this one. Okay, I'm happy right now with that. Get those edges down in the center, like so. I'm gonna have her look straight ahead again, pull the piece down. Put adhesive on the skin, back of the appliance a little bit. And just kind of pull that up a little bit, tilt your head down. Because these are really soft appliances, they're going to be, you're going to be able to manipulate those really well. Come back around and glue the other side. Look straight ahead for me. I can get that down there. There, there we go. I can glue the top of this one, the back of the appliance, and the skin, just like so. And then we're going to go with the little bit of U piece and put that down right in here in that area. With this one, I'm going to paint the, uh, the glue all on the skin just to give me a good coverage of glue because I want to put this down in one piece. So taking this, make sure it's on the right side, and then glue it right in that area right there. And just pop that down on the skin. These are very subtle pieces. Now we're going to take the edger. Hold this for me. Interactive makeup. Like that. And since I didn't blend the edge of the chin, I'm going to go Take this time to blend that edge. Alcohol and the mixture of a little bit of acetone. Not too much, not enough to irritate the skin, just enough to blend it onto the skin and melt the edges of the plastic. And once that's done, take that from you. I'll take powder puff. Just make sure this is glued down to the skin like so. There's another edge right here. I'm just going to blend down right there. Good. Okay, now that we've got all the uh, appliances glued down, we're going to cut to a new video showing you 
how to do the stretch and stipple.